Hello, we just had an update recently on the solar panel system. Uh, I'm using the, the 100 watt bulb as a dump load on the Zantex controller at the moment. Uh, I've got a 125 watt panel by Kyocera. I think that's the name of the panels. And as you can see from the meter, it's kicking out a good 8 amps. I'm also running some uh, items off the actual panel as well because the batteries are all fully charged up, all 10 of them. Uh, and I'm actually running that from there. I'm running about 40 watts. I'm running a charger on it and also a radio at the moment. It's a bit hard to say. I run a radio so easy, it's unbelievable. This is the new panel, 130 watt. Uh, very quickly had to put it up. Didn't want to waste any time getting it up, so I've actually made a sort of a, a bracket system on it. Got it up within about two and an hour. It's approximately about 15 degrees off south, uh, slightly sort of to the later part of the day, which seems to be the best place and time to actually put it. Uh, it's doing extremely well, kicking out eight amps at the minute. The more sun we get, the better. I figure that I probably need about five to get 500 watts. Is exactly what I want to get in the in the end. Uh, Apart from that, it's uh, quite a solid mount. It, it's got a little bit of movement on it, which is just fine. Uh, but I, as a quick hash up, I'll, I'll eventually make one so I can get three or four on it later on. But I'll need a pulley to put them up, even at the height they're at the minute. This time I've actually used proper clamps, which are absolutely fine. There was a little bit of play in the in the joint between the two, where they actually where the bot where the sort of the sort of smash, the sort of, uh, I don't know, type of joint in the middle of the clamps are, because they're 360 clamps. But once you get the weight of the system on it, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. Uh, I've wired it into a box, a watertight box, on the back there. I'm using thick cable coming down the pole, and I've actually connected it into my old wind turbine sort of box, because there's thick cable coming out of there really thick stuff and that's pretty thick as well that's about sort of I don't know it's about four mil cable uh, see do the trick though also it helps to have a concrete mount in the ground makes a big difference keeping it nice and high up is a good thing because you can actually catch the Sun from sort of coming all the way around uh, I would definitely want, would like some more of them, about 5 or 10 or 20, I don't know, how many I can get hold of. This one was quite a bargain at the price. Uh, I snatched this from someone for 300 quid with a charge controller and a digital meter. Uh, probably won't find many more like that, but I'd like to stick with the Kyocera uh, panels. The, they'd all be the same size and all power output. Okay, end of the update. Extra item. Must get a better dump load than this, or find a way to actually put this power into something else. Uh, hate to waste the power. I've got sort of 12 and a half, 13 volts going out on the dump load at the minute. So I've actually stuck a bit of loading on the end of it, charge some stuff up so rather than blow the bulb. Because even though it's 110 watts, the panel might be kicking out the 110 watts itself. So I'm a bit close to the edge. I've tried using... Uh, these sort of things but until I actually get about 500 watts going in I think the resistance is going to be too high and that won't dump uh, as you can see the Sun has actually just now gone in uh, it's come down about two amps one and a half two must be a cloud up there at the minute but that'll increase pretty fast so just keep watching it that will go up yeah there's a cloud here come the Sun Alright, come past the cloud. There we go. Working back up again up to about 8 amps. Pretty cool really. Uh, wish I could just get my other meter. Now the next one I'll, I'll update it to this meter up here. I've actually got a 30 amp meter sitting up there. 
once I get four panels, uh, four H, 32, 32 amps, and on come the charge as well. The load is on there again. So we're now overcharging the batteries, so let's dump the load. Cool, eh? I've got a digital panel coming for this for the charge controller, the green thing, the, the white and green thing. And that'll actually tell me what, what sort of kilowatt amp hours I'm producing. So I'll have some actually figures on it later on. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this all run the way I want it, but it's just a case of money at the minute. So, uh, I'll leave you with a, with sort of 8 amps powered out of the actual solar panel, one panel. Go for the biggest ones you can get. <laughs> and try and stick with the same type, because they, they, they look better, and they, they, they probably fit better together when you put it together. Okay, catch you later.